I wanted to go over uh, the new website that I've just developed. Uh, well, I'm in the process of uh, working on it. It's changing every day. It's called agentorangeinpanama.com. I know that's a long title to type in, but once you type it in, bookmark it, so you'll be able to uh, come back. And if you come back weekly, you'll be all caught up on what I'm posting. So on the home page here, you'll end up here, uh, the long-term environmental impacts of pesticide and herbicide use in the Panama Canal Zone. And it's the paper that uh, Dr. Olson and I wrote about uh, Panama and all the stuff that was there. So you can read that if you wish. But on the front of the home page here, there's links up here on the top. And if you wanna follow my blog, you can start here on blog number one. And uh, as you can see, we have a picture of Fort Sherman. I wanna thank uh, uh, Eric Dzikian for getting this photo to us. Uh, it appears to be uh, old age and orange barrels being used as fencing material there at old Fort Sherman. Uh, you can go to my next post by going down to the bottom of each blog and hitting next. Uh, to follow along what I'm talking about and you can share that with your uh, representatives so that they'll uh, know about Panama. But what I wanted to show you is the registries. I've made two registries, one for the Panama veterans and one for uh, the civilians registry. And uh, I'm posting the data as I'm collecting it. Uh, probably we'll do it another week or so um, I do it. I think I'll do it every two weeks. But if you go to the click on the Panama Registry, Panama Veterans Registry, and you can read what I've written there about it. And you fill in your name and your email and phone number is uh, not required. But if you want me to have it, that's fine. I'm the only one that sees this information. Um, in what year you were in Panama, and uh, where did you serve or live? Uh, in Panama Canal Zone. Uh, some people, uh, this is because I use the same form for the civilian, so that's why uh, server live is there. But the items with the asterisks on them are items that are already agreed to by the VA as being a disease that could be linked to dioxin exposure. Our only problem, of course, is Panama has not yet been uh, put on the presumptive list. However, uh, this research that I provided when I was with the Military Veterans Advocacy, we did get a bill, uh, Panama HR 5026, and we got a rulemaking request granted by the VA Secretary. And yet still Panama veterans do not have a registry. So I made one. And uh, we're going to be charting it. This was the first chart that I did. Um, this shows the reported diseases per the VA approved disease list. And so there are so many of them, I had to do this kind of a chart. Uh, we only had 36 responses at that time, but it shows uh, what everyone had. And also reported other diseases. Uh, there's many other diseases that people have and we're adding more. Uh, this chart will probably end up in two charts, uh, maybe three, I don't know. Um, these ones here just mean that we had two people with pancreatitis. I had to change the yeses to ones so that um, I could develop the chart easily. Uh, I'm still learning this whole process, so it's going to be changing. And then we have the Panama Civilians Registry, and the same thing uh, we have for the Panama Civilians. They can also register their diseases as well. Um, and then if you need to contact me, you can always use the contact me button. And if you decide, uh, maybe you filled this out already with your diseases and then you just got something new and you wanted to add it or you remembered that you also had eye surgery and that could be related to your diabetes or something, then you can contact me and tell me in your message that you wanted to add um, that new surgery to your list and I can go in and correct your record. Um, so the reason I'm doing this all is just to show how many people have these diseases, these same diseases that the Vietnam veterans have and to show that the same item went to Panama and hopefully 
Um, you know, the military veterans advocacy, I'm still supporting them. I'm not the director for Panama anymore, but I wanted to be able to develop my own website so that I could share my research with all of you uh, so that you will be educated into what happened and um, so that you can fight for your own, um, your own rights to be heard. Uh, we are not being heard right now. The uh, information that we're giving to them with the shipping records, uh, they did, the VA secretary did agree that Panama should be presumptive. However, there is no policy for the time limit for him to uh, make that happen. So the military veterans advocacy will continue to work that um, avenue to get that legislatively done and they do need your support. Um, and um, I will post research over here. So if you check once a week, you'll find um, new stuff to see. And uh, on my blogs also, uh, we have uh, some videos uh, that link back to the YouTube channel. So if you go over here and um, go through them, you'll find out about more about what's happening over on the YouTube channel, The Travels of Orange. And I really appreciate it if each of you would subscribe to the channel, it's free. Um, YouTube already advertises on the channel. Uh, that's not me advertising there, but um, the more people that subscribe, the more uh, things open up, the more things we can do on the YouTube channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe when you get over there. And I hope that you enjoy the uh, journey with me as I post about what I found and what I know and as my website changes as I learn how to maintain the website. Like I say, I'm the only one that sees the information when you um, submit and I'm hoping that the VA will take notice and they'll want to know how many people have these diseases as well for Panama. Thanks a lot for listening.